Coastline rocky, rugged, proud, crumbling cliffs in ozone shroud, sun-kissed drifts of desert sand, golden frame of a sea-cradled land. Tin mine engine house, towering stack, roof caved in, gorse and bracken's back. White clay peak, geometrical and sleek, earth's riches gouged, canyon deep. More land open, untamed, granite strewn, wild ponies dance to a skylark's tune. Tor and beacon, barrow and mound, you're in God's own country when you walk to this ground. Cornwall. It's a place where the land and its people have quite literally been carved out by the sea. As a Cornishman now living across the border in Devon, every time I come back it's like a mini pilgrimage. And as a filmmaker, I've always wanted to do a short film about the place. What a perfect opportunity to take a little trip home. Cornwall is a place with a rich history of mining, fishing, farming, but it's also attracted artists from all over the world for generations, particularly the small town of St Ives on the north coast. When I come here, I think of my great aunt, the sculptor Barbara Hepworth. As she put it, the horizontal line of the sea and the quality of light and colour reminds me of Mediterranean light and colour, which so excites one's sense of form. Her artistic representation was form and shape. Mine is different, but we are inspired by the same things, the light and the color, but particularly the light. For me, this place is all about the elements. It's wild, brutal, bleak and beautiful all at the same time. The power of the sea and the westerly gales. Even on a calm day, you can't escape the power of it. As awe-inspiring as it is, it can also be terrifying and cruel, as the people from this part of the world know only too well. Unlike my ancestors, I've never had to live off the land or the sea, but I suppose, indirectly, now I am. I would like to think of Cornwall as a place where people can come to be the best that they can be. Painters, sculptors, photographers, filmmakers, hikers and surfers. There's something about the place that makes you feel alive. To be honest, in this short film, I'm only scratching the surface of what this place is all about. Cornwall is like an Eden for creatives, has been for generations and it's not difficult to see why. 
I just hope it will continue to be for many more generations. Not only is it a huge source of inspiration for me and my work, but it's also a place I still consider home. And for that, I know I'm incredibly lucky.